How has it been for you getting familiar with the Mountain West and, and specifically yeah. with Mountain West football? Because the WCC doesn't have football. Very true. Well, I started January 1, so I didn't really get around to <laughs> fall football games, but um, I did get to about half the campuses. I have about five more to do for full campus visits, which I'm waiting for football season to get out there, see a lot of games and get to know the rest of the campuses. That's exciting. What stands out about an athletic director like Jeremiah Dickey and what he's doing at Boise State? I love to say that Jeremiah Dickey and President Trump are such a great one-two combination. They're so good together. They're innovative, forward-thinking leaders. And what, I mean, there isn't a week that goes by that some great news isn't coming out of the athletic department up there. Definitely. I know the, the conversation when it comes to things like realignment, it's we're always evaluating opportunities, nothing definite yet. I wanted to ask if it ever happened that the Boise State, that uh, Mountain West wanted to expand, what traits in a school would you look for? You know, we t spend a lot of time talking about that, especially in this environment, and we think about it in many different ways. So there is strength. Strength in football that adds to our ability to generate more media and you know CFP dollars. There's also upward trajectory potential. Schools that might be able to come into our league and benefit from the shot in the arm you get by being on our platforms with our resources. So it's it's very it it has a lot of different levers that we look at. Everybody seems to be moving towards this idea there's only going to be two football conferences but with an expanded 12-team playoff. I mean, do you think that's going to keep teams in the Mountain West? Because they'll have the potential to get in as a conference champion. And that's what we're really excited about this year, right? I mean, it's our 25th anniversary, so we're one of the younger leagues. But certainly when we think about 25 years and everything Craig Thompson built here, but also his legacy of building that CFP expanded playoffs and having six AQs. And that, I think, is what we're really looking for. We consider ourselves, of the 10 FBS leagues, we're definitely in the top six. Absolutely. So that's already, uh, it's not, a, is there a goal to get even further? Oh, absolutely. But, you know, this yeah. season, we got the New Year's Eve six coming up, and then next year with the expanded playoff, that number six makes, <laughs> makes a lot of impact. Just to clarify on NIL, you said you want to see Congress <laughs> help the NCAA Put, impose you know better regulations even playing field what specifically would it look like so the nuance there is I I would advocate for allowing the NCAA to create national policy but in order to do so in NIL we need congressional help to level set all the different state laws one and two provide some antitrust protection so that if we do get a national policy that you know can tamp down pay for play we're not subject to antitrust litigation absolutely when you look across uh, the country different schools are doing much different things nil wise but throughout the mountain west conference do you think it's a pretty even playing field from a recruiting perspective uh frankly you know i haven't really got okay. into the nil i know all of our schools have some sort i do know boise state has a very innovative program but i i at this point couldn't speak to the details of what everyone's doing. Okay, absolutely. And do you think uh, it, it, the conference or the institutions should have more responsibility maybe explaining NIL and the finances of that and what's at stake to the student athletes? That's what I think our schools probably do really, really well, right? The education, the training, what I would, right now there's a a ban on our schools being really intimately involved in setting up the deals or working with collectives and I think that's a little bit dangerous. I think, you know, the collectives not having some touch to the school um, is not healthy. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. Um, just, you know, the, the national brand of Boise State, what, how valuable are they for the Mountain West Conference? Absolutely one of our strongest brands, no doubt. Definitely a driver, both our viewership, our media contracts, our market, um, the history of success. Um, it, it really, Boise State, one, I think really fits with the Mountain West and identifies the blue collar work ethic you have behind your athletic branding really matches with what, with the ties that bind the Mountain West teams together.